Hey guys, back again, and now let's close this because this is already done. Also, the box store, we didn't need to touch that. The app module, we can close this also, and the models, of course, we can close. So now we have the basic, okay? So we are going to go to main first. Make component that is, and I'm just going to throw a lot of things inside here. I'm just going to copy and paste them. So we will need book from the book model, the service, the book service, the book query from the query, and the book store, of course, from the state book store. We will need form group, form control, and validators from Angular Forms. And inside the constructor, I'm just going to add the next, that is the bookstore service, the books query, and the books store. Okay? Call them as you want, but um, you can see the name is there if you want to follow along with that. It's fine. Now, we will add this post form that is going to allow us to add the name, description, genres, author, and price of a new book we add. Again, let me go to books data. Every time we reach the uh, main route of the application, we're going to fetch from this. That's why when we go back after creating a new book, it's going to... Um, only show this, okay, these four books that I have, okay, you can see the ID for there, so, and um, it's going to read from the file, and you will not be able to get the um, book you edited after going to the book um, page, but that is, of course, is not going to happen when we use a real API, or um, a database like Firestore. So now, well, this is not much, so I think I'm going to type it, yes. So let's say public books, because this is an observable, it's going to be equals to this that bookstore. We need to do some funky things with this. Books query that select all. You can see we have this select all that comes from um, the query. So we have these methods sort by, we can sort it using the name, okay? Now, public loading, we have even a loading state equals this that book books query that select loading what the hell is that? Okay, select loading. This is a function. So this loading state is going to uh, happen when we are fetching the um, the entities. Now let's call public get books because we want to get all the books here. This that book service we have a function that already does that that this get now public async add books we want a function that allows us to add the books using the service so this is going to be from data that we receive from the uh, form of course because that's why it's from data book let current ID, so we're going to grab this current ID and await, that's why we have an async function defined on line 23, await new promise, resolve, because we want this to be done, because, you see, books query, that select count, the subscribe 
we are going to receive a response if I can type correctly response and we set the current ID equals to the response plus one why we are doing this because we want to set a new ID inside this um, books remember that everything is hard coded inside this books data so we are not able well, we're able to add information there, but we're not going to do it because it would add more work into what we're trying to do here that is only focusing on Akita. So we're going to select or we're going to count how many entities we have and from there fetch the number and add one to that. So that is the ID of the new entity and then here we resolve and that is that is all. It seems that I named this differently. Oh, because it's not being read, or what the hell? Okay, it's declared, but it's what is never read. Okay. Now, still, sorry, inside the ad books, and the wind is blowing. I don't want to say that because it, it could be, you know, it sounds bad <laughs> but the wind is freaking blowing hard there book so I'm going to just copy this because we have worked with forms and said all this uh, thing before and of course this is going to make the video faster too so we're going to set the ID, name, description, gens, genres, or uh, however you say that, price and author to the form data that we're going to add in a second inside the HTML, so don't worry too much about that. So we get the form control um, values and add it inside this book object. So that is the book that we're going to add. Now this, that book service, Remember that we have an add method that allows us to add an object inside the uh, store. So this is going to create a new entity. And now console.log, no, console reporter, no, console.log, this, that, bookstore, no, book service, no, bookstore, yep. And I'm doing this store value because uh, we will see later how this changes entities or in case I don't do it entities okay entities is that right seems right to me although I could be wrong <coughs> so again in case I don't show this you will um, do we have an error here? What error do we have? Oh. Okay. So again, <laughs> um, you will see how this changes, how the store changes using the store value entities to see what is being removed and all that. And inside this engine init, we should only be adding well, again, the console are logged in order to see the start of that. So let's copy this and paste it. And of course, this start get books. Books, nice. Save that and let's see. Let's actually see what it looks like. Okay, we have an null injector. No provider for HTTP client. Okay, let me just check because I think what it wants is inside the a modular TS that I don't have that because Akita is using that and I'm going to add it in case you want to try this with a real API so you can see why this thing is complaining so we add the HTTP client module remember that you will you need to use the HTTP client module instead of the HTTP um, that was now I think it's deprecated 
What the, what the fuck I'm doing? HTTP, try mode. Let's add a comma there. And it should be fine now. Yup. And you can see we have this um, empty object on line TS, on line TS, on main component TS60. So let's see what the hell is this. Okay. Now. Okay, so this should be fine now. So let's see. Let's actually add inside the main. I'm going to paste a ton of crap. Well, let's let's paste it by parts. So header main. Let's paste the header. So let's see how this looks. Okay, we have the header, and let's paste a section. That is the books container and it's going to have. Let me just paste that. Save it. Let's see first if this works. It's loading. It's stuck in this loading state. But why is that? Let's see. Public get books. Which query select count? Um, okay, that is done. Okay, so let me just go back to the main and see where I am missing something. So we should be able to get the books. Let me just okay. So this should be fine. I'm checking on my this to get books. So let's do something. Let's just say console dot log a getting books because this doesn't seem to be working now. Getting books, okay, so that is being called, then the problem should be inside the because the books is set inside the service. So this is mm, a state, a state and book service. So get book, books, set books, and let's say console that look books to see. If we are receiving this, okay, it took a bit, but you can see it's working. I don't know why it took a bit there, but we didn't do anything special. It takes a bit, okay, and now we can see that. And you can see on line 61, this is the first thing we get. And then we have the four um, objects that contains the books. And also we have a form, let me show you that before closing this um, or stopping this recording. So we have the class books container, which is a section. And we have the form controls here. You can see we have the form control name, the author, the description, and you might be wondering how we can get multiple of this. We can select multiple, adding the multiple uh, attribute inside this select. You can see that this is a select form control name generous, and this is being added as an array. So that matches what we have inside the file. Also, we are setting the price. We can see we have the form control price here. And we are making a simple validation, checking if everything is um, okay. So let's actually go and say new book, new author, new book content. I'm so fucking original. Drama, this is drama, sounds like drama, a novel, and let's say it costs, it costs $3,000. So, 
is not a function. Add book is not a function. So maybe because I'm setting this as ah of course okay I will uh, show you this in a second. Um, where is f at book? Because maybe I added this with at books I set and it's defined as let's close all this crap. At book, okay. I'm missing uh, I was missing there an S or I added an S that wasn't there. So let's say now what the hell? Again, drama novel and it costs 20 bucks. Submit. You can see it's been added here, and of course, we cannot go to details because we don't have that yet. But you can see it's working, and you can see now we have before we had four, and now we have five adding the fa fa fa. So, this is working. So, let's uh, finish with this main HTML. So, we're going to use not set but use this loading state as async and check if this is resolved then we're going to set the else the post if the loading is done using this ng template so let me just do this okay we have section class books and ng4 so we're going to get from the books observable the book and just call the property just like that and you can see we have this router link that goes to book and book ID with matches which matches or routes that we're going to add in the next video so this should be it so let's go back to let's close this and again so this is kind of this was kind of fast I know but um, it's not that hard because the hard thing was the service that everything needed to work there uh, fine and now we just use the um, service methods inside this and the only odd thing here is that since we're not using an API we don't add automatically a new um, ID so we need to do this counting what we have inside the entities um, and added one to that in order to add a new ID so you can see we have this ID current ID that is this one so if I if we have five and I add another one we're going to have six and just like that so it says we don't have this okay let's let's actually do this and see if this is going to Main component TS25, main component TS. Um, okay, I'm just checking that everything is uh, working fine. Science fiction, 23 bucks. Uh, yeah, okay, you shouldn't have any error. Sorry if this, uh, this is too big, I know. And um, that's it. So we're going to leave it here. And I think we're going to finish this in the next video. So because we only have missing the post um, page. So see you in the next one.